one reason why AC systems fail. Some of the symptoms, you can look at the floor. Just outside the AC closet, there's a puddle of water. See here? On that door. Okay. Here's the culprit. Filter. Completely impacted. Full of dirt. Okay. You got water dripping right there. All over the place, you got water dripping. All on the walls. Come down here. It's leaking, the water's leaking out through that wall. It, there's a nice new filter sitting right there. It's puddling water all over the place. Okay, so look up in here. I don't know if you can see this or not on the video, but there's ice up here in the coil. There's ice and it's dripping down. It's completely iced up in here. The reason it's iced up is because the since it's so dirty, the coil's so dirty, you can see all the junk. The filter was so impacted uh, with dirt and debris, it's not allowing enough air to pass over the coil and keep it cooled down to not form ice. It forms ice, it makes condensation, water drips down into the pan, and you get this rust, and it'll eventually rust out the coil. This, co this condensate line right here, you can barely see it's completely plugged up. Doesn't have to drip all over the floor. I can't underscore enough the value of replacing the filter. Uh, because this system hasn't had a replaced filter, um, it's caused all that water to back up into the system. And this, you can tell right now, this system is, is backed up. The condensate line isn't allowing the water to flow out. And um, it can be a problem if it's not, uh, the condensate line is not blown out and a new filter put in place to keep that, um, that lint and everything out of the coil. So that's a common, the most common thing I see with AC units and uh, it's because of the lack of filter being replaced.